hello, let's play another game. The way that you find these games, by the way, is you click on this thingy, and then you click on, um... Where is it? You click on the the thing that says Arts and Culture, and then once you're on that page, you click Play, and it'll be right there where my my cursor is, and that's how you get to play the games. These are all very beautiful, but you know I gotta pick this one because it's it's psychedelic. Well, it, it looks like... It's Art Nouveau, but that's like one of the influences of psychedelic artwork, like the posters and stuff. This doesn't seem too hard. But then, that's easy for me to say. No, it doesn't really seem too hard. Yeah, this is quite easy. Hooray! I'm done. New puzzle. Golly, there's a lot of beautiful Art Nouveau stuff. Let's do this one. It's very famous. Hooray! Maybe we should do a different game now. We can do, um, 
The Descent of the Serpent. I bet I won't be able to do it very well. This one sounds fancy. No, the world. I'll be this cat, because I love cats, and it's got a little moon. I like the moon. I don't know why they depicted Zolotl as a dog. I kind of thought Zolotl was like a dragon. Oh, we get to do it the easy way, because I picked the easy, easy selection. I'm reading the thingamajigs. Squim, squim. I hope I'll be able to play well. friend. How, how do I talk to you? How do we, how do we converse? Are we not able to converse? Oh, it's another friend. Do I, should I kill it? Am I supposed to kill it? Hey, um, oh, that's how we talk. Have you met Stella yet? Who? The teller of stories, legends, and myths. She's tall, stony, engraved. You mean the pillar next to the El Castillo pyramid at the beginning of the maze? So you, you've you met. Make sure to talk to her when you see her. She can teach you many important things. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should have done that. This is how we, uh... This is how we play the game, is how we, we, we talk to friends. This is nice. Hello. The sacred resplendent Quetzal at your service. You you can call me Quetz. I'll be sharing information about our world during your journey. You'll need it for the Guardians. Nice to meet you, Quetz. The Guardians, you say? The Guardians of the Maze, beware. They'll question you before you can proceed to the next challenge. How do I prepare to face them? By talking to me, gathering information from the signposts and the objects you collect. 
Okay, I'll write everything down in my journal to keep track. Yay, I found another quetzal. It like oh it does sound like pretzel. Ooh. Magical object. Hello. What is chick uh, ki Chichen Itza? Chichen Itza is an uh, ancient Mayan city in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Its most famous monument is a pyramid known as El Castillo, the castle, or the temple of Kukulkan. I, I don't know how to talk, I'm so sorry. Kukulkan. <laughs> Kukulkan. Don't say Kukulkan. Don't say that. Okay. Kukulkan is the Maya equivalent of your guide, the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl. Wow. El Castillo is made up of 3,000. Er, oh, sorry. Six, three, <laughs> 365 steps, the same number of days in the year. Each of the four sides represents one of the seasons. Twice a year, on the equinox, the sun forms the shadow of a serpent that slowly makes its way down the steps. That is so cool. Hooray! Um, hello. Can I fight you? Or are we friends? You look like someone who's scary. I unlocked a new object! Quetzpalin, or lizard, is the sign for the first day of the fourth 13 day week, or trekena, of the ritual calendar. It is associated with the god Huehue Coyotl. Okay. Mesoamerican cultures use two separate calendars to calculate dates. The ritual calendar, or tonal po huali, was 260 days long and made up of 20 trekenas. Tre I, I just don't know how to say it. I'm quite sorry. The solar calendar, or hub, was 365 days long. Each day was identified by a number 1 through 13 in the symbolic name of tre the Trekena. In a 260 day year, every combination of number and glyph name was used once. This piece, unfortunately missing a head, shows a crouching lizard with several mythical creatures carved on its abdomen. The piece was carved from animal bone. Oh boy, explore the objects. Yeah, okay. Now nah, I'm just gonna go back to the game. Scary lizard boy, he gon' get me. I ought to like scuttle. Oh fuck! Oh shit! <laughs> Luckily for me, I can't die, I think. I'm pretty sure they made me immortal in this game, or maybe not, I don't know. Oh shit, monkeys! What the fuck? Ah! Owie, my head! Ah! <laughs> Ah, my head! Ouch again! Fuck! <laughs> Hello. How? What's this? Excuse me. Is this a bit of water? Can I? Can I have a sip, please? Can I have a tiny little sippy whip? Little sippity. Mm, little bit of precipitation. That's where the water comes from. It comes from the sky. I like the sky. The sky is my friend. I can't get out. Where? Oh, there. Wait. Where? Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass. Is that how the song goes? <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? Oh, lava. Shit. I walked into lava. Oopsies. Shouldn't have done that. Ow, ow, it happened again. <laughs> Dead people. Yeah, y'all walked into the lava. Dumbasses. Haha. -ha. Couldn't be me. It, it was me. I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo, another coin. Hey, whip, fucking nay nay. Uh, let me let's get this bread. Mesoamericans believed that instead of a man's face, they could see Tochtli, 
totally, I don't know, rabbit on the surface of the moon. The day is associated with May Maya Huel, the goddess of fertility. <coughs> Fucking whip, nay nay. Yeah. In a Mayan myth, the lords of the underworld mistake a rabbit for the ball, allowing the Mayan hero twins to trick them and win the game. <laughs> wow, what the heck? The Mayan ball game, the world's oldest organized sport, has been traced back to around 2500 BCE. Players were only allowed to hit the rubber ball with their right hip, elbow, and knee. Ah, that is sneaky. This sculpture shows a rabbit. During the creation of the fifth sun, two suns were created. Quetzalcoatl threw a rabbit skin bag over the second one to transform it into the moon. Let that's that's some that's <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> I know that Quetzalcoatl might not have a have an assigned gender, or it might be male or female, but I just said you go, girl, because I can. Okay fucking whip like I goddamn said like whip nay nay okay dab do you understand d d d a b dab okay 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 back to the game back to the game back to the game but uh 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 act to the game back to uh 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 the uh 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 Maybe we can go. Owie! Ow! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we could go down here, maybe? No, we can't. Oopsies. Fucking sad. What's in these? Oh, you can't go in there either. Okay, fuck all of you guys. You can all suck my dick. Okay. I already talked to you, ho- wait, did I? Did I? What if I didn't? Oh. What is the- the, uh, what is Tio Tihuacan? I'm so sorry, I'm just dumbass, I'm just- it's dumbass incorporated up in these brains. It was the first ma major city of ancient Mesoamerica, and was created before 250 BCE. The Tio Tihuacan, I'm just gonna say it like that because that's funny. Um, means the place where the gods were created in the Nahuatl language. At one point, it was home to a, a huge for the time period, 1,205. Oh, uh, 125,000 to 200,000 inhabitants. That's a lot. T.O.T. Whacken is built along a north-south line with a road called the Avenue of the Dead, running for 1.5 miles through the center. At either end are two pyramids, the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon. They are so large that the Aztecs believed they had been built by giants. Neato. Clicky. Now watch me click. Now watch me play play. <laughs> no, I hate myself. That was terrible. Now watch me click, click, watch me play play. Oh do 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 ba ba da ba da ba di ba ba da wo shubbly weebly bitty boop squeam pity squeam pull lemon peen pull come on I'm clicking the thing but it's not letting me go let me go ho don't you know who it is that I bees and who you is that I sees you ain't shit compared to me's like okay I mean like okey motherfucking doki or nah. What's up? How are we today? Why is maze important? Um, because you get to walk around in it, and you get to go places, and it's like a fun little thing. It's like a... It's like a puzzle, but for the outside world. I'm just kidding. Maize was the staple crop. See, maize is actually corn, if you didn't know. It's corn. It's K-O-R-N. I'm just kidding, it's not that. It's C-O-R-N, okay? Don't get it mixed up. Anyway. 
in Mesoamerica. It is rich in nutrition and can be grown in the wet, land, the wet lowlands as well as the drier mountain areas. That's areas for you non-stupid people. Sorry about that. Uh, the three sisters are maize, squash, and beans. That's cute. Squash plants grow at ground level and keep down weeds. Maize plants grow straight up. Straight up. Through the squash, beans grow around and up the maze. Woo. Once I get all the things, I'm gonna probably stop the video. Because hopefully that means I win. Owie, I got burned. Oucho. Owie again. Sucks. Oh fuck, wait, oh god, oh no, wait, am I dead? Have I died? No, I haven't died. Yay. Totally do hate it when that happens, you know, death. Like, whoa. <laughs> like, oh whoa, right? Am I in, ugh. Oh. Woe is me. Where am I? What's going on? Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Why? Why is the spider making a sound? The spider made a sound. That's not how spiders work. Unless it's like a god or something, but it's like a spider god. They could make sounds because, you know, they're gods. They're OP. They can do whatever they want. Excuse me, bitch. I already talked to you. Sorry about that. Sorry for calling you a bitch. I didn't mean it. How do I get... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> How do I get over there? I know how to get over there. Give me this loot. Yeah. Koj Kakuatli. Okay, that was horrible, sorry. Meaning vulture was the first day of the 16th Trekana. The Maya name for it is Kib. Mesoamerican cultures played music using a variety of drums and rattles of various shapes and sizes, as well as wind instruments such as ocarinas, flutes, conch shells, and trumpets. Um, uh, music was a fundamental part of cultural life across Mesoamerica. Instruments have been found at archaeological sites and illustrated in paintings, carvings, and artifacts. Yeah. This drum shows a confrontation between an eagle and a vulture, suggesting it was once used by warriors. The drum is made of wood with animal skin covering. Yay. Did I already do this one? Can I... This doesn't do anything, that thing doesn't... Well, oh well. Ouch! Okay, you don't have to be an asshole. Owie, you don't have to be an asshole. Hi. Good evening. Hey there, Georgie girl, look at you looking like a little bird. Aren't you so cute and aren't you so special? Are you the best? I'm getting confused on hunting down the coins on my own. Any guide dogs around? You know the Aztec god of fire and lightning? Zolotl, what a dog. I didn't know it was a dog. I'm sorry. Legend says that after the deconstruction of the fourth sun, Zolotl and his twin brother Quetzalcoatl traveled to the underworld to retrieve the bones needed to remake mankind. Isn't that the hairless dog Zolotzkuwitli? <laughs> I can't do it. Amazing. <laughs> yes, amazing indeed. That was amazingly bad pronunciation. Okay. Sha la la. Hello.
can I can I interact with this? No. Seemingly not. Peep peep. Squeep squeep. What? I can't. What can I? Can I? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah. Oh. Ah. Scary spikies. Me no likeies. Wait, I. I have to do it, I think. Wah! Oh, yeah! Mm. Go crazy. Go wild. Zok Keetel, or flower, was a symbol associated with Zoki Quetzal, the goddess of the Aztec goddess of fertility, beauty, and love. Zibada represented what were seen as feminine crafts, such as weaving and embroidery. Despite this, tasks were shared with the whole family. Weaving and spinning tools were buried with men, women, and children. With no wool protecting animals in Mesoamerica, all textiles and weaving materials were plant-based. Royalty, priests, and nobles had specific areas of their homes and palaces dedicated to the production of textiles. This small sculpture is the depiction of a young goddess of vegetable fertility and is shown holding corn cobs in each hand. That's cool. She's the corn lady. She's a little bit corny, but it's okay. We all accept her either way. We don't care, cause at the end of the day, aren't we all a little corny? Yeah, corn gal, you're my pal. Oh yeah, corn gal. Ouch, hurt myself in the lava. I don't know what to, how to, I, I don't know. Arf. Fucking owie, ha ha ha, lol. What in the world is this? Can I go in here? No? Well, maybe there's some other sneaky way. Well, here's a little guy. Hi there. A cocoa for your thoughts? They'll power you up with extra points at the end, you know. Okay. Thanks. I'm tired of running around. Could use some wheels. That won't be of use here. No large animals to pull you around in this part of the world. But, if you do need help, follow the arrows on the ground. They'll show you the way. Or consult the Stella by the Guardian. She has the treasure map. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. Close. Okay. So much maze. Owie. Ouch. When I click the button, it doesn't always let me go, just so you guys know. I'm not just sitting there doing nothing. I, it's just that it's a bit laggy. Men, menly nali, or mali nali, sorry, meaning grass, is the day of the Aztec calendar associated with Pate's cattle, or Pate cattle, or whatever, the god of fertility and healing. Pate cattle showed mankind how to brew polk, a powerful 
or maybe pulque, actually, a powerful and sacred alcoholic drink. Drunkenness was frowned upon, was frowned on, with the majority of people only allowed to drink pulque during certain feasts. The first offense, a first offense was punished by flogging and having one's hair cut off. Goodness, the second offense was punishable by banishment and the offender's house was demolished. This beautiful vessel is known simply as flower cup, showing a range of natural imagery and symbols, including the, Mali the Malinali glyph across its four twisted ar uh, tw uh, stems. Okay. Yay. Alright. Here we go. I'm stuck. Owie. Ouch again. No, ow, ow. <laughs> Let me look at the map. What's this? I can't move. I can't fucking move. Uh. I'm stuck. You can walk on this. This is great. Hello. I do believe I already talked to you. Yeah. Wait, no. Did I? What is Tio Huekin? T T O T Huekin. Yeah. Yeah, we we did this. Damn monkeys throw in their things. Actually, I already found all five of the objects, so, like, I don't know what else there is to do. Can I go in here? I don't think so. I think I might be done with the game, because it looks like I got all five of the objects. Complete. Yay! Oh, you're supposed to find cacti. Well, so I found everything in this area, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quit the game for now. Is there a way to save? I don't know. No, it it saves automatically. I think because if there's a button to restart the game, then that must mean that it saves automatically. So I'm gonna quit for now. See you later, friendos. Goodbye. Wait, can't I give it a little heart? Yep, there we go. Um. Okay, yeah, goodbye for real. <laughs>